Good morning there, Seven Minute Fans. Now, I know, very, very bold claim. The rest of the fitness industry is a bunch of BS, and they're totally wrong. And I'm right, and I know that I'm right. And yeah, that's a pretty bold claim. Now, to all the haters out there who go and run a mile, you know, four or five times a week, or do an hour of treadmill, um, here's the difference. Even if what I do and what they do comes out to a similar result, let's face it, the fitness industry is a failure. Here's why. 19, over 99% of people that start an exercise program stop within two weeks. Think about that. Why would they blame it on people? Isn't it a problem with the fitness industry itself? Why is it that 99% and more people who start an exercise program never continue again? And the answer is simple. It's because the fitness industry is wrong. Now, let me go back on very, very simple science for you. Let's take a look at two extremes, long distance runners versus a sprinter. Both of them are very, very lean, right? Both are really lean, why? Well, the marathon runner's probably running collectively four or five miles a day, every day, to prepare for a competition. Where the sprinter is very lean, but he runs, what, 100 meters, maximum 200 meters? After that time is up, he's completely exhausted. Now, despite both of them being lean, who's more muscular? The long distance runner, usually they're all from Kenya and they're usually about this big, right? Very, very skinny people. When you look at the sprinter, both men and women, very muscular, uh, very lean, and they're explosive and they do it very, very quickly. The reason is for that, there's two types of muscle fibers in the body. There's type one and type two slow twitch and fast twitch muscle fibers, okay? Your fast twitch muscle fibers are your high explosive fibers. Those fibers have the greatest potential for growth. Now, if you're really interested in getting the best shape of your life, listen to the rest of this video. Very important, okay? Now, the reason, first of all, and I don't mean to sound arrogant, look at me, and below here is a picture of a good friend of mine, Brad Gaines, who's also in his 40s. The guy looks like a machine. He looks amazing. And he follows the same principles that I do. High intensity, short duration exercise. How many people in their 40s walk around with less than 10% body fat? I'm not dedicated at all. I'm not a genetic freak at all. And to all the naysayers out there, no, I do not use performance enhancing drugs either. It's science. So listen to this science, okay? Here's the most important thing about getting lean and staying lean. Understand this. When you do treadmill, in approximately one hour, okay, give or take, depending on your height and weight and the intensity that you do your treadmill out, you'll burn about a thousand calories, okay? Now, so let's use a week as an example. If you did treadmill every day for one hour, for a whole week, you'd burn 7,000 calories. In one pound of fat, there's 3,500 calories, which means if you did an hour of treadmill and you didn't increase your calories through your diet at all, you'd lose two pounds of fat. Now, how many people in that 99% are actually going to sit on the treadmill for an hour? Yes, there's the fitness enthusiasts out there that love to do that. And to you people, kudos. But to the 99% who hate it, just doesn't sound like fun, right? Here's the difference. When you do high intensity, short duration exercise, like seven minute workout, it builds muscle. Now to the ladies out there, let me explain something. After the age of 30, whether you're a man or a woman, you start to lose your natural muscle mass. And that's why a lot of people after the age of 30 start to gain weight because they're starting to lose their muscle mass naturally, but they don't change their caloric intake. So here's the key. For every pound of muscle you have on your body, okay, you're burning 100 calories a day naturally. Why? Muscle is contractile. See, when I'm, when I'm flexing my arm, you can see that. If someone is very overweight and they have a big belly and you tell them, flex your belly, nothing happens, right? Fat 
It is not metabolically active and it just sits there. Okay, so muscle is metabolically active. So by just sitting around doing nothing, watching TV or whatever, for every pound of muscle you have on your body, you burn 100 calories a day. So let's compare that to the treadmill. Let's say one person's doing an hour of cardio every single day, which we all know most people would never do, versus somebody who's doing high intensity, short duration air exercise, seven minutes a day, three times per week. Here's the good news. That muscle that both men and women lose after the age of 29 to 30, um, you can get it back just by exercising, okay? Now the average person by the age of 35 to 36 has lost 10 pounds of lean muscle mass, that lovely beach body look that we all have in our 20s no matter what we do. We all naturally lose that, okay? So if you lose 10 pounds of muscle, your metabolism is now slowed by 1,000 calories a day. With the seven minute system, okay, seven minutes three times a week, you can gain that muscle back. So by just training high intensity short duration exercise three times per week, you're gonna gain your 10 pounds of muscle back. Remember, if one pound of muscle burns 100 calories, what does 10 pounds of extra muscle do in a day? It burns 1,000 calories a day. 1,000 calories, the equivalent of doing one hour of treadmill every single day. Now, somebody who's not big into exercise but knows that they need to do it for their health, what's better for them? Absolutely committing to one hour of treadmill a day, every single day, seven days a week, or committing to just seven minutes of exercise three times per week? The science makes sense. That's why I look great at 42, that's why I've been absolutely able to follow an exercise program now for 31 years. And that's why, if you look below here, Brad Gaines looks amazing too. He follows the same system and I know I'm right. If you're a fitness enthusiast out there and you wanna have the argument with me, I'll go head to head with you because I know I'm right. With that said, I'm gonna give you guys a challenge very soon I'm gonna do a live workout, a live webinar workout. I would love every single one of you on Facebook and my blog and anywhere else across the internet to join me. I'm gonna do a live seven minute workout with you guys because I'm absolutely committed to changing the obesity in this world. It's wrong, completely wrong, and you deserve a healthier and better life. So with that said, if you have any questions, post them right here and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have an awesome day and bye for now.